toute avec moi Je me laisse bercer par ses pas Now, we're still on our day at the Chicago French Market. And because Ben is classically trained in French cuisine, we thought we'd bring you here to celebrate your birthday. Plan for today is Italian beef dip sandwiches. When we asked you guys online what we should be eating in Chicago, so many of you said that we had to do it, that Mike and I are going to do it. Meanwhile, I'm taking birthday boy Ben here on a culinary tour of Chicago. Which basically means I get to stuff my face with great food. Eat your cake. Eat my cake. Eat your cake. Put Eat. it in your face. Eat. Eat it. Don't make out with it. <laughs> Jamie and I set off to find out what an Italian beef dip sandwich was and landed at Tony's, a neighbourhood hotspot. The sign says, when was the last time you had a great sandwich? I might not be the average customer. <laughs> Wait, it's packed. Right. Turns out, having talked to a couple of people, we've travelled the least far to get here. Other people have travelled like 45 minutes an hour because they know how good the sandwiches are. Do you smell the aroma? Did it act to sort of kind of suck you in through the doors? That's what it is. Well, I've been coming here for years and so you know, when you, once you taste a good sandwich, you always come back. They know that Tony's is a small place, but they got the best beef sandwich in the whole city. Meanwhile, Baz had taken Ben to check out the Revival food hall, and Ben wanted his present early. Since my birthday, do you fancy a few of a spoon? What? Seriously tasty. Good broth. Is there anything more comforting than ramen? Or can we have a sandwich? So tell me beef sandwiches in Chicago. Why are they so popular here? I think we're the only ones in the country that make them. That's for sure. What makes a great Italian beef sandwich for you? Ah, uh, the spices. Definitely the spices and the natural gravy. That's what, I mean, anybody could get a piece of meat and cook it in the oven, but it's what you do back there. How you slice it, how you prepare it, how you heat it, how you cool it, everything. So essentially, Italian beefs are sandwiches of thinly stripped roast beef, served on an Italian roll with cheese, and then the roll is dipped into the juices the beef was cooked in. I know. Okay, I think I get it. So stick with me when I say soggy bread. But the reason the bread's soggy is because it's full of all of the gravy and all of the juice from the beef. The beef is so tender. It's got a bit of spice to it, a little bit of kick, it's herby. Stringy cheese in there. That is fantastic. Don't open in London, Tony. <laughs> My waistline can't take it. When was the last time you had a great sandwich? Five minutes ago. Baz and Ben's next stop via the stunning Chicago Riverwalk was Giordano's for the stringiest pizza cheese we have ever seen. Even the prep in the kitchen was a work of art. That is so much more than I expected. A really uh, crispy base. Well, it's almost like so buttery, it's almost like pastry. More like a pie. It's good. Taylor Street. From 1850 onwards, this was the hub of entry for tens of thousands of Italians seeking a new life in Chicago. And by 1927, Little Italy had 500 grocery stores, 257 restaurants, and numerous other food-related businesses. And this explains the huge oh, yeah. Italian influence oh. on the amazing food in the city. Italian ice. That makes your eyes go like this. And it was here that we found Owls, the home of the very first Italian beef. We got talking to Chris Pacelli, the owner and nephew of Al Pacelli, who created the very first Italian beef in 1938. Chris explained that the creation of the sandwich was due to the lack of meat in the area during the Great Depression, and that's why it was sliced so thinly. Oh, and there's an official stance you have to have whilst eating it. So we got Ben and Baz down to try it all out. That's good. You don't like a good jus. The sandwich just disappears. 
you eat it, the, the bread just melts in your mouth. Do you know what wins for me? It's the bread to beef yeah. ratio. Because I'm not a beef in there. When the evening came, it was only right we experienced some authentic Chicago blues. I'm going back to my roots. And then, more pizza. Pico's was so highly recommended by you that we had to try its infamous caramelised crust. And it is good! Going back to my roots, my roots are calling me, they're my only friend. At the beginning of this trip, we set out to find game changers and we thought they were going to end up being iconic experiences, yeah. iconic dishes in each city. But for me, the city has been a game changer. The people, the music, the place. There's something about having a beach and a city and a skyline. Game changing birthday. That's birthday's good, that's pretty good, isn't it? Well, it's been pretty non-stop and I don't think I could tell you which one bit was the best. But Collectively, game changer. I wouldn't have wanted to celebrate my 30th birthday any other way. With so anyone else? With anyone else. And Mike, you get a hug, a virtual hug too. Come in for a hug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is too close. I'm uncomfortable. I feel weird. <laughs>